Hello folks, it's your friend Bernie here and welcome to another amazing episode of the Co-working Values podcast and with me from her greenhouse in Hamburg is my friend Dina. Dina, what, what are you known for and what would you like to be known for? <laughs> Hi Bernie, a pleasure to speak with you. I'm known for my curiosity, um, I guess, and I'd like to be known for um, one of the people who brought co-working to Germany. <laughs> and Ooh. makes it uh, a way of work uh, that more, more and more people pick up. I, I didn't know that. that what, how did you bring co-working to Germany? Did you like put it in a suitcase? No, I would like to be one of those people. Like, oh, yeah. I, I think we are a great movement in Germany already. I'm part of the German Co-working Federation. <laughs> and um, there is a, a great bunch of people who kind of kicked co-working off in Germany like uh, I think 16 years ago and I had the pleasure to be working with some of them and um, I think there is so much potential still here in our country for more people to learn about how co-working works what it brings to you and um, what those values that we've um, that we formed. Um, I've um, I've been working with co-working for some time, and more and more people, um, I'd say 2016 onwards, they said, "Ah, you're a Scrum master, or ah, you're an Agile coach." And I always was puzzled and told them, "No, I am not. I I don't do software." And as like five, six, seven people asked me, I was like, "Okay, there must be something to Agile." which is the way I work. So I started to learn and educate myself more about it. And I thought like, ah, now I know why they think I'm an agile coach or a scrum master, because on the one hand, I've learned when I still was working in the pharmaceutical industry, I learned about, about a lot about lean and a Toyota production system. So there's where a lot of the ideas in the agile world come from. And I also think the way we interact within the co-working community has a lot to do with the way we work and interact within the agile community so for example being open and putting learning over experience is something that we share so the co-working community says learning is more important to us than someone bringing the um, expertise. And that is something in, within Agile where we say, oh, we're developing stuff that nobody's done before. So learning is an important part of how we do things together. And um, so this is, for me, a great connection to have um, these ideas of both worlds and bringing them together um, and letting them interact with each other. So I'm, uh, I feel very privileged to be able to work in that area. I, I, I always like that that little corner of the universe you described there is is one of the treasured, precious parts of the you know co working, as as we like to say, and that and that the the roots of being in the open source movement and um, I can't remember his name, but he was actually called Bernie. Um, oh, I can't remember. The, the, the game designer who opened a, a hacker space where people could collaborate and share ideas. And that, that kind of fluid sharing collaboration over competition, I think is one of the, one of the bits of um, society that, or co-workingness that I'd like to bring to society. So it's really interesting. Um, what was, um, so what, one of the reasons I've got, I hit you up was to you've just been to the Cowork 2024 yes. event and what was the can you can you explain what that is for the few people that haven't seen everything about that online in the last few days and then yeah. what was what was the, the big takeaway for you which I already so, know but I've got to I've got to build it up you know I've got to pretend like I'm going to be surprised <laughs> when you tell me so the the Cowork generally is the German speaking co-working conference uh, within um Germany, we try to move it from um, into different parts of the country so that people who want to join us um, can do so easily. Maybe if one year it's in, now it's been in the south in Karlsruhe, uh, next year it's going to be in uh, Berlin. So um, we 
want people to be able to connect with each other, catch up with each other, educate themselves. So that is one of the core things we do as the German Co-working Federation, bring our community into that event um, and having a really great uh, two and a half days together and kind of to reconnect, to recharge um, and also to focus our work. Um, so even though we are like everywhere in Germany and we also had guests from um Austria and Switzerland and the Ukraine this year um, to find out where there are common things that we can do and where we can do things as a big community, although we are in all the different parts in rural areas or in urban areas. Um, so that is the co-work, like a two and a half day event where we all meet up and uh, it's like a big uh, Uh, gathering of old friends. <laughs> I think we're going to say it's like a big bar camp. Um, it's yes. what what is um, what was the big takeaway? Because I, I, let's just, let's get right into that because I loved the uh, I loved it when you revealed that to me at the beginning. <laughs> so um, this time, for the first time, um, we thought about how can we work with the co-working values even more than we already do. And the idea was to um, select one of the values and start with Cowork 2024, um, everybody to talk about it and work um, on that particular value. And this year's value that we selected uh, is sustainability. So it was, um, for example, one of the keynotes was someone who was uh, who's working and creating um, interiors um, in a cradle-to-cradle -cradle way. And he talked to us about what um, sustainability looks like from his point of view. So he said, instead of um, um, measuring your footprint, you should measure your handprint. And he was explaining how we can, if we um, refurbish spaces, for example, how we can make a really, really big difference in the way we... Uh, decide how to do these things. Um, so it was right from from the beginning with the with that keynote we were diving into that topic and um, uh, we had some of the bar camp sessions. So the Saturday traditionally is our bar camp day. Uh, some of those uh, sessions were already um, working with sustainable topics. And the last day, which we always call the Quality Sunday. Um, we had a um, little inspiration playing with Lego Serious Play on the topic of sustainability. And uh, the idea is now that everybody um, will use the things that we've learned um, throughout the next year and apply them to their spaces and communities um, and that we create touch points where people can meet up. So we have the Coworking Climate Coalition, for example, And Gregor is leading it, and he had a um, had a little a talk on Sunday morning where he explained that we've created such a, a guide for the co-working uh, movement on how to become more sustainable, and they are holding regular meetups, and we will build on that uh, during this coming year until the next co-work where we will we'll then start to work on a different value. So yes, sustainability. Uh, and working on that is is a big thing. And for me personally, the the takeaway was um, also thinking about sustainability in terms of our own way we work, the way we work. So um, we can look at it from a um, point of view of materials and resources. And I always, as I try to change the way people work together, um, I'm always thinking, and there we the agile part again they are looking for a sustainable pace in their work and one of the things i'm experiencing a lot is that we we have we're struggling with that in the co-working um, movement to find a sustainable pace um, to do our work because a lot of people love it so much and they're so passionate that they put in too much work and forget about themselves don't know what your experiences are there all of that um so is it when when you talk about sustainability i'm just i'm just checking because I'm, i'm in the right place it's not just about recycling it's about sustainability of our energy as human beings and 
um, being able to so, so it's, it's looking at that is it looking at that word in lots of different ways is that what you're saying exactly yeah, yeah. Um, that is that is what we always tell people who are all new to to our values that we say there is that for example value of sustainability and you can look at it from very different perspectives from energy perspectives water perspectives the soil the resources you're using the food you're providing the way you dress, the way you heat. So lots of aspects and every space, every community decides for themselves where is their area of focus. So for example, if spaces and communities have done a lot of work on uh, their interior, for example, they are probably not going to focus their um, their work for the com coming 12 months there, but they might decide um to go and work on something completely different. So what we are probably, and I'm hoping what we are going to see is that we'll have a, uh, many different perspectives on sustainability and what we can do with our communities um, uh, will be known to each other and will inspire each other to look into different topics that are kind of subtopics to sustainability for me. This is like, like where we met in WeShare, you'd be able to do things like this. And like when there's, when there's lots of people kind of, lots of brains, it all goes back to what we said at the beginning of this podcast is when, when there's lots of people giving a little bit, because um, we're all very busy, you know, we have families and we have jobs and we have work and we have, you know, to put, more toilet paper in the bathroom in our co-working space. So th there's not a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And when lots of people think about the same thing together and share it, it's really, really valuable. And it's one thing to, um, I mean, that, that is why we called this the co-working values podcast, because it was, a, it was a good way to find a reason to talk about each value in depth. And as we go around um, talking about, uh, let me see if I can do it, collaboration, openness, sustainability, accessibility, and community. Um, mm. Everyone's got a little take on it. So you're not kind of like telling people this is what community is. It's everyone's telling you what they think community is and yeah. it, the, the perspectives are really, really important. Um, what, what else did you think about that? I, I really love the way we've gone into this thinking about the word. I know it's a bit, let's think about the word, but like, what, what else does that word mean to you? Well, to me, we're just recording the podcast um, and I'm sitting in my, you said, uh, from my little greenhouse, which is, I'm really sitting in a little wooden hut right now in my garden. I do live in Hamburg in northern Germany and um, I, we do have an apartment, so I usually don't have a garden coming with that apartment. So I uh, rented one and I'm growing or trying to grow food here with the permaculture principles. And that is something, for example, that um, for me, I found a, a lot of community members within the German Co-working Federation doing the same thing. So we are trying to grow food in our close by gardens um, and trying to make the way we nourish ourselves more sustainable and sharing hints and tips how to do it and talking to neighbors um, and encouraging them, for example, not to only plant flowers, but to plant a little bit of their food. And this adds to, um, on the one hand, to food security for me. And uh, we talked about that earlier, that food that you harvest from your own garden, where you've grown it organically, tastes so much better. And so we create different memories for people, for example, in our communities, if we, um, if we do these things together and um, we can inspire people by doing that. So um, a lot of my work colleagues, because I post a lot of on Instagram from my garden, they talk to me about gardening and they start their own little gardening projects. And um, I think that's the whole idea for me if we want to create a sustainable change, we need to involve as many people as possible. And that we need to create that change is pretty obvious these days with all these uh, climate disasters that we uh, we can see around us. And uh, that is, for me, also spreading hope that there are different ways of doing things and approaching things that we used to do differently for a very long time. But now we need to change them. And if we do it together, 
um, that's more fun and it's more encouraging. That that is what you just described. There is a you know over the last nearly fifteen years of being in co-working is there's so many things I've found out about by being in a co-working space or being in some type of community with people and seeing what they're doing on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I would have, I know, kind of cross-fertilization. And it's, it's, it's interesting that that term comes so easily, cross-fertilization of like ideas and moving moving stuff around the community. Um, so what's the, what's the, what else is in the plan for the, uh, the year of sustainability in the German Co-working Federation? Yeah, so we uh, one thing we want to do is we want to create um, uh, events where people get together and um, discuss what they've done, share ideas, um, encourage them to talk about what they've done, um, because uh, that is one thing that you just mentioned. It, if I see someone else whom I follow doing stuff in a different way, I'm encouraged to do it because if they can do it, how difficult can it be? I can do it as well. So these kind of things, uh, creating these stories together with our community and um, helping each other in uh, becoming more, um, ex yeah, becoming experts in uh, helping others to live a sustainable life and being the spots where the people can see it, feel it, taste it. I think that is where the power of the community lies and, uh, this is something we want to tap um, into uh, during that year. So um, I, I know, for example, Christian is going to uh, invite people to have little follow-up Lego series play sessions um, with certain sustainability topics. And Gregor, the one um, running the Coworking Climate Coalition, they have a quarterly meetup and um, he will probably, from what I've seen on the co-work, uh, prepare them in a fantastic way and uh, encourage people to continue to learn and um, experiment with these things. So, yeah, so really something, curious. <laughs> something I'm dying to ask is um, how, because I, I know that Lego Play series, I've got, I've got the book, and um, how did you, what, what did you do in the Lego Play to get to this, you know, learn about sustainability or create the conversation around the sustainability? Yeah, so after we did the kind of skill building part with the Lego Serious Play, where we learned how to use the bricks and think with our hands, we uh, Christian posted the question, what can we as a um, co-working community uh, do in terms of sustainability um, to work with each other? And I was working with three other women and everybody built their little model, which explained how we saw what we can do. And you could see within the models, there was a lot of talk about how we can connect and interact and how we can use technology, but also use community. And um, one thing that personally touched me was the little model of um, my colleague from the Ukraine. And there was a tank in that little model. And that tank was pointing at a person and that person um, had the connection to the co-working community, uh, to the German co-working federation, she said, and it was, um, she expressed all the hope to learn and help rebuild things in a sustainable way, and that the connections are, are providing hope within that situation, and that it was something that was, to me personally, very touching, and kind of made made it clear to me why those gatherings like the co-work are so important for our community um, to be in touch with each other and to see those perspectives having an impact on people's lives. That, that um, the Ukraine connection, because a, a lot of, Jose did some amazing podcasts with uh, Vika and other people from the Ukrainian co-working association when uh, Russia invaded Ukraine. And it is that, that feeling of um, the possibility of rebuilding when peace comes is is huge. And it, it just takes the, feels a bit silly saying this, you know, sitting in my flat in Vigo, but, you know, it take, takes the meaning of co-work into a whole new domain. Why right? this, this, is, this is what is possible when you get those experiences at events like that. Um, 
the so is it Christian who's doing the the whole Lego series play thing? Yes, he's the the lead uh, Lego series play facilitator currently in the German co working federation, and um, we will run, for example, workshops because this method helps communities also to, to express their ideas and to, co to connect. And um, that is one thing we want to um, use this year um, to help people express their ideas and connect with each other. That is, uh, I'm, I'm so jealous he's doing that. Um, <laughs> that is that is beautiful. Um, thank you for all of that today. Where, where's, the, where's the best place we can find and connect with you online? Um, probably on LinkedIn um, when it comes to my professional life, um, Dina Sieralta, and um, if you want to see my garden on Instagram currently. And I just uh, started on Mastodon uh, instead of X. So I'm leaving X and you can find me on Mastodon. The end of an era. Um, yes. <laughs> that was. And that is something I learned about at Cowork. <laughs> there's, there's, there's never been more. And, and uh, I don't know if you know, but the uh, on Blue Sky German German co working is is Doris is on on Blue Sky and other people around there. That, that's that's the other place where it's all going down. Um, the other thing, oh, just while I've got your attention, folks, I need to direct you to our um, other podcast because we're talking a lot about sustainability here. And Tracy Wilson from the states who runs she used to run. Um, <gasps> oh, I can't remember, the, can't remember the name of the co working company. It is ah, specific work, Pacific Workplaces, sorry. Um, that was her family's company. And she now runs super.org, which is a certification for uh, single-use plastics in co-working spaces. So I'm going to direct you to that in the sh with a link in the show notes because there's this the sustainability conversation is alive and kicking. And the, like we just said in this podcast, the more connections we can do, the better. So thank you for your time and attention today. Say goodbye, Dina. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day. Cheers. Bye.